you ever feel like your project is just missing something, you know, it doesn't quite have that spark, if you will. Well, here's how to push your graphics to the next level and give your After Effects projects that cinematic spark <laughs> in seconds. Let's get started. This tutorial is all about taking a project and using universally easy effects and coloring concepts to truly overhaul all your projects. So the first master technique you can implement into your project is taking this cinematic effects stack that will instantly transform your project. To create this stack, everything derives from the glow effect. Uh, so add this effect to an adjustment layer. From here, the generic idea is to increase the glow radius to around 100 and then duplicate the effects. On the duplicate, you can set the glow radius to above 200. Then you can copy and paste this effect to any specific layers that you want so you don't have to have this effect you know, applied to the entire scene, for example. Then we'll go ahead and create another adjustment layer and add the noise effect and the posterize effect. Set the noise amount anywhere between 6 to 12% and of course uncheck use color noise. And the level is okay, but I would consider keyframing the posterize effect to change over, say, a larger project like this. So then you can just dial in your look. So now with these simple effects, our work has already been transformed and this should take under a minute to do. If you like, you can expand on this effect stack by adding two optional effects that will change the style of your project. Uh, one effect being the brightness and contrast effect. All you need to do is alt click the stopwatch and type wiggle, say, 4, 30. And this will add a flickering effect to your scene or overall project. Another effect that I wouldn't necessarily recommend is the posterized time effect. When I use this effect, I usually set it to 12 and this gives more of a stop motion feel to your project. But like I said, this is seriously optional. I'm just here to share ideas. But all right, as world builders, one thing we can utilize to help transition our scenes right into the next is by morphing the background color. So when you're working with multiple scenes, you want to make sure that the background is in your master composition and not in the individual compositions if you're going to be following this third technique. So we can use the fill effect on your background layer or the gradient ramp effect, then add keyframes for the color. As time moves forward, you can change the color of the background from scene to scene, uh, and you'll see that there's a dedicated timeline for your color as well, which is nice. But changing the color of your background in conjunction, say, with the posterize effect, does wonders to add a subtle transition to your project. And speaking of transitions and style, a great technique and perhaps specifically an effect is to use the CC spotlight effect. So for example, I'll add the CC spotlight effect to a trimmed up adjustment layer. And this is a great overall lighting effect that you may be able to use uh, as it's very easy to position and just set the height to zero to create a cone of light. Then you can animate the intensity to transition the effect on and even animate the cone angle to wipe to your next scene when it makes sense to do so. And that looks awesome. All right, before we jump into our last technique, I just wanted to mention that we have a 100 free template pack that you should absolutely get your hands on for After Effects. And if you ever need to save time, we have over 35,000 templates to help you produce amazing work with the link below. Now, the techniques we've used so far in this video have been used more on the overall project, but what about going inside and detailing specific objects to truly overhaul your scene with lighting in mind? So this scene is fairly flat and I will admit it is on purpose for demonstration. Uh, so if you can identify a light source in your scene, you can paste in those glow effects that we used uh, previously. We can also recycle the CC spotlight effect and manipulate it to create a light spill onto our floor. When it comes to colorizing the other objects in your scene, uh, you need it to react to that primary light source. To do this, we can right click the layer and add gradient overlay. Then edit the gradient to have one side to be darker than the other. From here, you can also add bevel and emboss and an inner shadow as well. Just change the color of both these styles to the brighter color of your layer and then set the modes to normal. And depending on your object, you'll need to slightly adjust the settings uh, within these two styles to give you this brighter edge. Then back in your master composition, you can apply that overall glow effect once again to make the scene blue. Now get out there, build amazing projects, and always be creative.